Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I'm going to show you guys some must-have tools when you work on steel carburetors. Now most of the tools I'll be showing you today are actual steel tools that you buy from the dealer and then there will be a few other tools that I'll show you that are absolutely necessary to work on these carbs that are not made by steel. So what I'll be showing you today are seven tools that are actually made by steel and then I've got three other tools here that are not made by steel but are definitely critical when you work on these carburetors. And the very first tool I'll be showing you is basically just a slotted screwdriver like this. Very basic tools. We all know that we can use this tool to adjust the screws when they are actually slotted screws. And on this carburetor here, you can see there are three of those. And here's the part number to the flat slotted screwdriver. Now the next tool I'll be showing you is part number 5910890. 2307. Now this tool here will come handy if you are adjusting carburetors on some KM weed whackers. This tool fits perfectly on the adjusting screws of that carb. Now if you're going to adjust the idle speed on this carburetor you'll need a slotted screwdriver but the LNH will require this tool here. And if you look at the tool closely here you can see that it is hex shaped. So a definite must have if you're working on some KM trimmers that have the carburetor I just showed you right here. Now the next tool I'm going to show you is very similar. Here's the part number. Again, this part number is in the video description. This tool as well is hex shaped, but a bit larger than the previous tool I just showed you. Now this tool will work perfectly on some BG leaf blowers, the handheld ones. It will again fit perfectly in the adjusting screws. And again, you'll need a Phillips or slotted screw to adjust the idle speed on that one. So again, another must-have tool right here. Now here's the next tool, and here's the part number again. And look at how shaped the end of this screwdriver is. It's kind of a square end. Now I don't use this one too often. I rarely use it, by the way, guys. Apparently this is to adjust the screws again on some carburetors, but I rarely see these carbs in the shop. Now here's the next tool, there's the part number. This is a limiter cap remover. So if you're working, let's say on an MS251C, it's going to come with a carburetor like this. You need to adjust the carb, but you're limited because there's limiter caps. Well, with this tool, you can remove them. Basically, you just shove the tool in, turn it in counterclockwise, so left-handed. And before you pull, just line up the notch here with this little notch. You can see it at the bottom here and it makes it a lot easier to pull the cap out. Now you can reach in and adjust your carburetor. You will need another specialty tool for that, which is not made by steel. It's a number two micro Allen screwdriver. You can reach right in there. This tool fits perfectly in those screws. And by having the limiter caps removed, you can adjust your carburetor either in or out as far as you want. And if you want to put the limiter caps in, just unscrew the screwdriver from the cap. Again, line everything in there and just pop it right back in there. So again, for example, if you're working on the MS251C carburetor, you need the limiter cap remover that I just showed you and the number two Allen micro screwdriver. Now the next tool here is another limiter cap removal tool. And here's the part number. Now this limiter cap tool is smaller at the end than the previous one I just showed you. So I find that this limiter cap remover works better on the older carburetors or this style of carb with the smaller limiter caps. Now sometimes the limiter caps can get kind of enlarged, the holes in them, and it's hard to pull it out with this tool. So if that's the case, you might want to go back to this tool here with the bigger end. It's going to go in there a little tighter, and then you can pull it out quite easily. But in a lot of cases, this one here will work, but you have the option of the smaller one and the bigger one here, depending on what you're working on. Now, this tool here is another limiter cap removal tool. And where you can use this tool is to remove these types of limiter caps. So basically, all you have to do is find a section you can actually put the tool under the limiter cap and then just pop it up like that. It kind of saves you from breaking the limiter cap, especially if you want to put it back on. So this way here, you can take the cap off, adjust your screw with a slotted screwdriver in this case. Once it's running right, you stick the cap back on and you know it's not going to go out of adjustment. 
So again, this is part number 5910-890-4501A. Again, you got to go to your still dealer to buy all these tools. Now the next tool I'm showing you here is a Micro Torx number 8. Now here's where you'll be using this tool on some carburetors. The screw that holds the metering lever shaft and the whole assembly here is a small Torx number 8 screw. This kind of caught me off guard a few years ago. I was working on carburetors. I'm so used to using a Phillips screwdriver here or a slotted screwdriver and it was a Torx number eight. So I had to go and hunt down a small tool. So just keep this tool on hand because you definitely are going to run across these small screws on steel carburetors. Again, Torx number eight. And try to buy the ones with the smallest handle. It just works better when you're working on these tiny carbs. Now, last but not least, and it's not a specialty tool, you will definitely need a Phillips screwdriver when you're working on steel carburetors. Now, if you're watching my video and you're new working on carburetors, you will always need a Phillips screwdriver when you are taking apart your carburetors because 95% of the time, all the screws holding the covers will be Phillips screws on both sides of the carb. And I've even seen carburetors where the mechanical idle screw here is Phillips as well. And sometimes the adjusting screws can be Phillips. So keep a good Phillips screwdriver on hand. Def it's a definite must. Now, when it comes to the slotted screwdriver, you can buy just any good slotted screwdriver. It will do. So counting the small slotted screwdriver here, I've got seven tools that you can buy from your still dealer. They're not expensive. And then I've got three other tools here that are a definite must when you work on these carburetors. The number two Allen screwdriver, the T8 Torx screwdriver, and a good Phillips screwdriver. So I've had these tools for a while and they're basically all I need here in the shop when I work on these steel carburetors. So by the way, the Phillips screwdriver I just showed you here is a number two, I believe. You can also have a number one Phillips screwdriver. It's a bit smaller. Sometimes the screw that holds the metering lever inside the carb can be a small Phillips screw. So if you're serious about working on steel equipment, guys, I highly recommend that you get all the tools that I showed you in the video today. I've put all the part numbers to the steel tools in the video description to help you guys when you go to the dealer to buy those tools. And technically the dealer should sell you the tools. If they don't want to sell you the tools, just go to another dealer. It's hard to buy steel tools online. Steel does not sell parts or tools online. So you basically have to go to your steel dealer. But I highly recommend that you get all the tools that I showed you today, guys, because it's going to make your job a lot easier. So not only is it going to make your job easier, guys, you're just not going to end up stripping screws. I've seen people work on carburetors using garbage tools and all the screws were stripped. I've had equipment come in the shop like that where people worked on them. And when I went to take the carb apart, all the screws were stripped. So guys, avoid that, get the right tools and everything's going to look professional. Especially when you put a carb back together, you don't want the customer to see screws that are stripped. It just does not look good. So hopefully I hope this video has helped you guys. If I forgot to mention any steel carburetor tools that are still out there that I don't have, please comment below the video. Add a part number if you can, because I try to buy every single tool as they come out because every year it seems that the adjusting screws will vary from machine to machine. Some are still using the old-fashioned screwdriver, slotted screwdriver, but as you saw, a lot of them are using a hex-shaped carburetor tool like a lot of these that you saw today. Thanks again for watching, guys. Make sure to like the video and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a great day.